everyone. This is Maria Wall. It's me again. So for now, I'm going to share to you how to add Chrome extensions for Google Classroom. So first, we are here in a Google website, and we will type Chrome Web Store. And then we will click this Chrome Web Store, Google Chrome. And before we're going to start adding Google extension or Chrome extensions for Google Classroom, I want to tell you that extensions are installed in the browser and give you added features and abilities to customize your browser. And there is also a warning here that running too many extensions at once can slow your computer down. So this list is a great place to start, but pick and choose what ones you really need and or want to try. And be sure to grab the extensity extension so you can turn extensions off when you do not need them. So now ready to start. So we're going to put the uh, cursor here. And the first one that I want to share to you is to share, share to Google, whoops, classroom. And then when you find it, you will just click add to Chrome. And then click add extension. And you see it's processing, it's downloading here. And you see here it's checking. Let's wait for a while. Once it is downloaded, the check-in will turn into radiant. So you can see it's already here, the share to classroom. So whenever you need to go to Google Classroom, you don't need to type it again or go to your drive and try the Google Classroom. It's just here in the upper part. The other one that I want you to share is to add to the classroom. See? Oops. Add to Google Classroom. I hope I am add to Google Classroom one. So add to Google Classroom. This extension adds the current site to Google Classroom. Save sites from around the web back to Google Classroom. So same procedure. You just click Add to Chrome. Add extension. And then it's already there. The other one, the next that I'm trying to show to you to add Chrome extension is the Alice Healers Classroom Split. So very good. So Alice Killer Classroom Splits intended for students to use with Google Classroom. So the benefit of this is students can easily view their assignment directions while working. We're going to add it to so They're ready. Then actually there are a lot of Chrome extensions that you can add. It's, uh, it's around 160 that can be used by the teachers and students. And then we have also here the Ed Puzzle. Edpuzzle is really great if you want to make your video personal, like you don't want the students to go to use YouTube just to search the video, and then sometimes they're going to come up with a different, you know, videos that is um, not necessary for the students. So here it will be on your own site if you're going to add this. So this Edpuzzle uh, Ed allows teachers to customize and personalize videos from the internet and then assign them to the students. So guys, we will just click Add to Chrome, Add Extension again. And it says here, Edpuzzle has been added to Chrome. So that's the symbol here, or logo something. And then as an Edpuzzle button next to YouTube, we just to quickly start editing them. So let's see if we're going to go to YouTube. We will see this logo. I don't see it here now. Let's try another video. So there you are. So you can see the Ed. The, the, so. If you have this at puzzle, you will be able to get this video and download it or edit it as much as you can or get some like a part of or portion of the characters or the content of the story that you want to include. So you can personalize the video. Here. Then let's go back to Chrome Web Store. Now, this is a great uh, Chrome extension too, like the screen Castify, the one that I'm using now. Let's type screen. Testify. So, Screencastify is screen video recorder. This is the number one 
screen recorder for Chrome, capture, edit, and share videos in second. So if you want to teach your students and you want to record yourself or without you, just your voice, the audio, you can use this. So since I added it already, you can see it there. So it is only good for five minutes. It is free. If you want to extend it to more than five minutes, it needs um, or it has like a membership or subscription like $49. I don't know, $49 or $99. So I would better do the five minutes video that they offered for free. The next is the Loom. So Loom for Chrome, it's like a screencastify too, but for me personally, I want to do Loom for Chrome more or I want to use it more than the screencastify. So in this Loom, you can record your screen, just like what I'm doing now, voice and face to create an instantly shareable video in less time than it would take to type an email. So while you're teaching whatever subject you want, you are in a Google slide or PowerPoint, you can record yourself while you are talking, while you are teaching. And then you can include your face there too if you want it live and you can upload your picture there too. So your students can see you at the same time. So it's already added here. So I have here. So this Loom, uh, it doesn't have like a five minutes limit. I think you can use it like for as much as you can, but I've never tried using it for more than an hour. I have tried or I had tried using it like for 40 minutes and it really works well. It's really good. And you can edit it too. You can trim. You can adjust the speed of your video if, if it is kind of like you're very slow in speaking. So that's it. And then I'm going to share to you about the Mercury Reader. Since I have never tried this, but it is suggested in our district since it's a great Chrome extension. So this Mercury Reader extension for Chrome removes ads and distance or rather distractions, leaving only text and images for a clean and consistent reading view on every site. I'm gonna click it here and I wanna add it too. I think this is good for reading activity too, for resources. So it says here, Mercury Reader has been added to Chrome. And I'm gonna share to you, I'm not gonna share to you a lot like 160, it's up to you to explore this Chrome website. What do you think is your most need? And then the last time that I want to share to you is Bitmoji, which is really in demand or like a really trend right now. So we will try to look for Bitmoji. And now we have here, we will click Add to Chrome and then Add Extension. So this Bitmoji allows users to create a personal avatar of themselves that can be sent as picture messages. So you can see it's downloading here. Once it's downloaded already, you can see the Bitmoji here icon or logo. So I am logged in. I have Bitmoji in my cell phone and I have tried to do it before. And then I'm gonna show to you in Bitmoji how to, oops, what is this? How to use Bitmoji in teaching or in your lesson or in creating your presentation. And then I already downloaded this background. So for you to download to insert images, you will just click insert and image. So I'm using now the Google Slides. You can upload from computer, just like what I did, or you can search in the web. You just click this and then like you're just Googling or typing the, you know, like the clue, the words that you are the images that you want to search, or if it is saved in your drive photos or by URL or by camera too. So I downloaded it by upload from computer in here already. Now I want to use Bitmoji, I want to include it in my presentation. We're, we're just doing the first slide. So click this icon. And then for example, I want to use um, standing. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, let's see if there's a picture thing. Or let's say class. Yeah, like in a class. So I'll just, I'm just gonna try to make it quick. So, um, 
can find something. Mm, let's say, let's just search something that is really good here that we can add. You, you have a lot of bitmojis. Of course, you personalize it the way you wanted it. That's a flex here. So, for example, I want to do, hmm, let's say, good idea. So, I will right click it. And then copy image, you can save it, but you can copy image to copy image. And then I'll go here in this slides, right click and then paste. Let's see what will happen. So it's there already. If you want to include the good idea there in the board, you can make it smaller too. Like this one. And if you want to add some features here, just try to explore everything about here, like inserting text box audio or video too word art and everything and if you want to adjust the page set up you just go to file and then scroll it down and then click the page set so it will you will be able to uh to set it up into 11 by 8.5 it's like a short one paper size so guys so that's it so try to explore more you have emojis here emoji keyboard and everything a lot so thank you guys for trying to watch and listen to me i hope this helps you a lot so feel free to message me or uh, private message me or email me if you need something. I have a Facebook. We are all there, Filipino teachers. Okay, so have a great day. Happy sharing. Happy learning. Bye.